Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I uh, hope all, everyone's been well. I um, haven't posted in a while because I've just been busy with a uh, couple of things. Um, yeah, so back again, you know, uh, address a few issues. Uh, don't forget to um, click the like button and subscribe, guys. Just support a brother, you know, help me grow a little bit. Um, just wanted to, to just dive into what just happened in London. Um, I think everyone knows. Uh, yeah. We, uh, the, the, the far uh, sorry the Black Lives Matter activist Sasha Johnson was shot in the head recently. Um, yeah, she was she apparently was at a party and was shot. And I know the media is saying that she was shot by a group of men, but we don't really know the reason behind uh, the shooting, the motive behind it. But uh, most of us people of color kind of like know why she was shot. Obviously, because she is involved with uh, Black Lives Matter, and she has received um, a couple of, uh, what well, I don't know if it's a couple, but a lot of uh, death threats by the far right. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, I because I have an account on TikTok and uh, other places, I've just been seeing a lot, a whole lot of um, negative comments about her death. People celebrating, not her death, because she's not dead yet. I'm sorry, she's. She's still fighting for her life in the hospital. But, you know, the the far-right trolls uh, have been celebrating her shooting, uh, which is really sad, you know. We all know that, uh, that the internet can be uh, a very ugly, uh, ugly place to be. Internet is a very despicable place sometimes. You know, it can be ugly. You, can, you could be posting something really positive and then some troll just comes on and kind of spoils the moment. And, you know, people... Yeah, people got things to say and then they will come to your channel and just post something negative just because they don't like you or they don't like what you're talking about or they just really want to be a nonsense you know really trolls trolls are uh, the definition of a troll is someone who just comes onto your onto your um, uh, comment section and just post something vile and they usually have a private account so you cannot report them even if you report them you can't identify them because uh, the account is private. So yeah, those type of people. Um, so Johnson was 27 and uh, she's initially critically wounded and uh, in hospital at the moment recovering. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, hopefully we, we wish her a, a speedy recovery um, because obviously what she was fighting for, it's, you know, it's, it, resonates, it resonates well with the black community in the UK and in the United States as well, because as we know, we we are still fighting to basically, uh, you know, have access to equal opportunities as everyone else. Uh, we are equally as educated as the rest of uh, the British population, but we don't get the same opportunities in terms of uh, um, maybe starting our own businesses, getting jobs that we are qualified for, and many many other areas of uh, the system in general, uh, it's always stacked against us. And so that's why we lag behind in many cases because we're not given that opportunity to excel. No, let me just say it, put it that way. Some people might disagree with me and say, oh yeah, we have a lot of uh, successful black people. Mm, yeah, just like a small percentage, you know? So, but there's always that uh, glass ceiling that doesn't allow everyone to reach their full potential, if, if I can put it that way. Um, Sasha Johnson was, uh, is, because uh, she's still here, she's not passed away, is uh, um, an executive committee um, uh, of uh, the Taking the Initiative Party, which is a recently uh, a formed British political party and uh, an unspoken, an outspoken advocate of uh, for racial equality. So, uh, you know, so some of her statements might uh, sound controversial, but, you know, it's always been controversial fighting for equality as a as a black person. So somehow there's people out there that disagree that we should have equal opportunity. They would like to see us uh, where we are and with no progression, I guess. Uh, I guess it's feeling the, the sense of, of threat from us. They feel threatened by us or what we can achieve or what we can be. As a, as a people, um, you know, we for decades we have tried to 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 live together, integrate with everyone. I think 
Africans in general, they integrate well with any other culture, race, they integrate well. But it just seems that um, we are just not liked by lots of people for some reason. I mean, you know, in every race, there's good and there's bad. And uh, in every race, there's people with good intentions and people with bad intentions. And uh, not in every race, there's uh, people that are racist and some people that are not racist. Okay, so I guess, uh, you know, the government would have to really dismantle some systems and recreate them to create opportunities, especially in the US and in the UK as well. Twitter, there were, there were a couple of tweets that people were saying that they would celebrate if Sasha Johnson got, got shot. There was one tweet that said, pints all around. And the other one said, jelly and ice cream. I mean, it just, it just goes to show you how evil some people are. Their thought process, it's so evil. How can you hate someone so much because of their skin color? You know, you, you go around shouting that you have a higher IQ than other people, but you cannot understand that a skin color is just a skin color. You're not intelligent enough to grasp the fact that we are a diverse people, just like animals are diverse. We come in different colors. It does not make me lesser of a human than you just because I have a, a different color. I'm proud of my color. I love it. It comes with lots of advantages. You know, having this melanin, I know I am protected from the sun. I am protected from lots of diseases because of my melanin on its own, you know? So why should I be ashamed of my color? I love my color and I'm proud of it. And I'm proud of my culture as well, my Zulu culture. It's a very rich, diverse culture, you know? When Europeans arrived to my country, we welcomed them with open arms, even though they took advantage of us and took our resources. We ended up fighting them in a war. But we are like that. That's the type of people we are. You know, when the settlers arrived in, in South Africa, the first thing they said was, we have never, not just South Africa, Africa as a whole, they have never met a people so honest, so friendly, so welcoming. That was, that's what they reported back to the Queen. But then they said that we cannot break these people. The only way we can break them is to separate them from their spirituality. Because that was their, that was their aim when they came to Africa. They didn't come to make friends. They came to take over. And that's what they did, okay? And we welcomed them with open arms, all right? Well, I just wanted to address this Asha, uh, sorry, Sasha Johnson incident. You know, she's a sister, she's family, she's one of us, you know, and we pray for a speedy recovery. You know, we hope that she will make it through and leave to tell this story of such an unfortunate event. But to all the racists out there, we continue to pray for you, you know, because we are not a hateful people. We pray for you, even if you are evil and hateful. We pray that you see the light. You pray, we pray that you see that this is not the way forward, you know? Even if we, even if we separated and we ended up with our own countries or going back to Africa, like you want us to, you know, you will still want to come to Africa to visit. We'll still welcome you there, you know, because that's the type of people that we are. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video to those that love to talk about these type of things, politics and, uh, you know, tough topics to address and events um yeah so please click the subscribe button and like button and i will be posting more videos on other topics that are interesting and uh tickle the brain thank you guys bye